So I'm going to give you some general tips about walking. Now, it could be that you're walking in heels or indeed walking in any type of shoes, but one should always try to remain elegant and poised no matter how you're walking. First impressions really count and we notice how people walk. Grab your phone, take some videos of yourself, ask for feedback from your family and friends. Practice makes perfect. The first thing you want to think about is eyeline. You want to keep your gaze straight ahead. Now, if you're walking on an uneven surface, of course, it's perfectly acceptable to glance down, but keep your chin in the same position if you can, because if you drop your head, it brings your whole spine out of alignment. Next, think about your shoulders. Now, whatever you've seen online, don't push your shoulder blades back together. All that does is it causes your ribs to flare, your diaphragm to lift, and it's actually really bad for your back and posture. However, depending on the strength of your chest and your back will affect how your shoulders sit. So we want to work towards having our shoulders relaxed, engaged, and not necessarily squeezed too far back. Although it can be tempting because you feel it gives you this presence to squeeze the shoulder blades together and push your chest out, it's actually really not very good for you. Next, your waist. You want to, wherever possible, engage your tummy. A strong core will give you a strong stability and foundation for walking. I've been practicing Pilates for years and it makes a really big difference on how I walk and indeed how I do any activity in life. Women typically have more movement in our pelvis when we walk and men have less. However, you want to think about alignment. Draw a pencil line, imaginary, from one hip to the other hip and keep this square if you can. That's going to help. The more your hips roll, the more pressure it's going to put through your back and your spine. Next, think about your legs. You want to make sure you have nice straight legs and you want to press away from the floor. If your legs are too soft and bouncy, you're going to get this bouncing, almost giraffe effect. Finally, think about your feet. You can flare your feet or you can even grip your toes for better support on the floor, but think about the placement of the feet. Now, some people roll in, some people roll out, some people have high arches, some people have low arches. The most amazing thing about the human body is that we're all made uniquely and beautifully. Really work with your own body type and think about how your foot lands onto the floor. That's going to make a big difference as how you walk. Finally, your arms. Do we swing them like we're in a marching band or do we let them hang naturally? A very static arm position will look unnatural. Whereas an arm that swings too much will look like you're in a marching band. <laughs> think about having just a relaxed, opposite arm to opposite leg movement. If you walk with the same arm and same leg, you look a bit like a robot. Again, if that's the look you're going for, that's absolutely fine.